Okay, good morning. Welcome to Matthew 118. Matthew 118. So um, this is uh, the last star problem in the challenge problem section in Art of Problem Solving's uh, Intro to Algebra book, Chapter 3. Um, and, you know, instead of having you do this on your own, I wanted to just do it for the movie. Alright. So the square root of x plus 1 plus the square root of x minus 1 on top. And on the bottom we have square root of x plus 1 minus square root of x minus 1 equals, whole thing equals 3. So. How do you want to approach solving well, for x here? I'd probably multiply the I'd probably multiply this to the other side. Okay. And what what do you get when you multiply that to the other side? Well you get x plus one plus the square root of x plus one plus the square root of x minus one on uh -huh. this side equals three times the square root of x plus one minus the square root the square root of x minus one. Okay. It's unfortunately to keep it on the whiteboard I'm gonna have to just Okay. Do that. Well, multiply this through. Alright. And what do you get? You get 3 times the square root of x plus 1 mm -hmm. minus 3 times the square root of x minus 1. And the same thing on this side. Equals 3 times the square root of x plus 1 minus 3 times the square root of x minus 1. Okay, good. What well, are you going to do now? I'm going to put the x plus 1s on one side. Okay. See, and move the x minus, I'm going to move this here and this here. Mm -hmm. So, I get um, 2x, 2 times the square root of x minus 1 on this side equals um, 2 times the square root of x plus 1. So, 2 times the square root of x minus 1. Plus two times the square root of x plus no, it's, one. This is four times the square root of x plus minus one. Why? Because you have a minus there. Okay. So how what how do, what makes the four? Well, you've three of them here, and you're moving them to the other side. You've you've negative three, and the negative turns to positive. Okay. So tell me where the four comes from. So the four comes from one and three. Okay. All right. What would you do now? Well, I'll divide by two. Okay. What do you get? 2 times the square root of x minus 1 is the square root of x plus 1. And then now I'll square everything. Okay. So I get 2, they get 2x minus 2. Or, no, 4x minus 4. Okay. So when you square this side, you got to square the 2 and that. So that's 4 times x minus 1. Equals x plus 1. So, we go over here, just erase. This was my original equation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to keep that, even though I multiplied something to the other side. So, 4 times x minus 1 equals, what was it? Um, x plus 1. x plus 1. Okay. Well, I'm going to put the 4x, I'm going to move this x so I get 3x on this side, equals 5. So, x is 5 thirds. Alright, x is 5 thirds. So, is that the answer? Well, they wanted x. Yeah, they wanted x. Well, we could check it with this. Okay. We always want to check, but in this case, we especially want to check. Why? Because we squared some stuff. Yeah, we did some operations that, were, that sometimes produce bad answers. So, x equals 5 thirds. Uh, rather than just plugging all the way through, let's let's see what square root of x plus 1 equals. What x is 5 thirds? So it will be the square root of 8 thirds. Okay, square root of 8 thirds. And how about square root of x minus 1? It's the square root of 2 thirds. Square root of 2 thirds. Okay, how can the square root of 8 thirds be simplified? Well, it's 2 times the square root of 2 thirds. So 2 times the square root of 2 thirds. So we find out they're they're related, and so when we add the two times the square root of two thirds plus the square root of two thirds, what do we get on this side? We get side? three root two thirds. Three times the square root of two thirds, and does that equal three times this, this two times the square root of two thirds minus the square root of two thirds? Yeah, because it's just in here. It's just the square root of two thirds multiplied yeah. by thirty. So there we go. So we found one solution, and when we plug back in, we we check that it does indeed work. 
plugging all the way through might might actually be a little bit tricky, but um, we, can, we can understand a little bit about what square root of eight thirds and square root of two thirds are. So very challenging problem. Very challenging problem. But um, we're able to work through it. Good job. Good job.